Hey guys, welcome to the month of September. Let's talk about the energy that we have going on this month in this report. We are going to be looking at each week of the month of September. We're going to be talking about the highlights energetically of that week, the aspects and the transits that we have coming into fruition, you know, what the general vibe of that week might be. And then of course, you know, we're also looking at the greater context of this month of September generally, what perhaps we can expect all month long, the general vibes that we have coming through. And also, you know, on this channel, we are talking about and we are narrating the shift of the ages. We're also going to be talking about, you know, how these energies as they come together this month are playing their greater role in transitioning us energetically in this new direction towards these new vibes and frequencies that are being anchored on the planet right now that are really moving us in the direction of this transition of ages. And this month is another one, you guys, that is very wild. There is just Uranus energy. Energy, Uranus frequencies, Uranus fingerprints, very dominant Uranian energy all over our new moon cycles and our month of September yet again this month. So we got a lot to talk about you guys. Let's uh, let's get this report started. Actually before we get started with the week by week breakdown of this energy I kind of just want to summarize what I think is happening on a greater level throughout the course of the month and you know looking at how things start and you know circling back around to sort of like where we are by the end of the month and the energy present at the beginning and the end of the month, there is definitely like a cosmic push this month that is trying to help us gain a greater sense of awareness about something. Whatever it is that we are gaining this greater sense of awareness about, it's having a very transformative effect on us internally. Whatever transformative effect that is coming into fruition as a result of whatever it is that we are learning or whatever it is that we are gaining awareness of, this is acting sort of as a catalyst for us to move on from something. There is a great potential that that's something that we find ourselves done with by the time that we get to the end of this month has to do with relationships or relationships from the past or even like our own relationship to ourselves or it also could have to do with essentially like our perception of reality and our role in our own reality but throughout the course of the month of September there is likely to be some type of significant event that happens as a result of gaining some type of an awareness into something and the nature of the event is very transformative it changes things a lot for us somehow in such a capacity that allows us to release ourselves from a past version of ourselves or a past um, way of identifying or associating with ourselves or with others and really primes us for sort of a new beginning that is much more based in um, like our own sense of personal self-empowerment and like answering the call of our soul, okay, moving forward. There is definitely an energetic push this month for us to free ourselves and to liberate ourselves from something. In fact, that whatever that is, is what is being facilitated by universe. Something that we've been bound in, something that has been constricting or restricting us, something that has been blocking our ability to essentially like follow our heart or follow our truth or do what it is that we're feeling called to do right now. Um, forces coming through some type of perhaps even divine intervention coming through this month that is helping us to free ourselves to liberate ourselves to release ourselves from something and again this could really have to do with some type of awareness or insight or revelation that we're gaining and another aspect of this also again likely to be pertaining to the past somehow this could also be very like financial or resource based or asset based or like partnership like deep enmeshment connection based energy that is seeking to like free us from something in some way right now um but it, it is definitely a month where universe is assisting and facilitating our process of throwing off any shackles in any way that have bound us from essentially like taking action to make a dynamic change to move ourselves forward towards whatever we're again like answering the call of our soul whatever we're feeling um like that we know we need to do 
at this point in time because I've been saying we are in a north node transit of the sign of Aries right now. It takes a year and a half whenever the nodes of the moon transit a polarity of signs. The north node, this is the destiny point, okay? This is our next phase of growth. This is um, what we are learning and essentially like what we need to do in order to evolve ourselves to wherever universe is calling us next when we have a north node that is being activated it also can create almost like a compulsion to do whatever that specific energy is activating in our own individual charts and with the north node collectively for us all right now transiting the sign of aries aries is the sign of the pioneer this is a sign of the warrior this is a sign of you know, the hero as well. We are all sort of becoming the hero in our own stories. We are overcoming previous states of victimhood. We are overcoming weaknesses that held us back in the past and kept us attached to, you know, groups or to social situations or um, facades or false images or pretenses as a result of feeling like we couldn't do it on our own or we couldn't stand on our own two feet or, you know, we needed the safety of numbers for some reason. But as we go through this next, you know, this next lesson plan, this next phase of growth associated with the North Node transiting through the sign of Aries, this is our, all of us, like our own personal leadership era over the next year and a half in one way or another. We are all probably going to feel like we've got some type of mission that we are being called to complete or to move towards. And again, it could be as simple as overcoming weaknesses that have perhaps plagued us and held us back for a long period of time. Or it could genuinely be launching out on something brand new and like redefining the entire nature of our lives and realities but you know it takes courage it takes strength but this is also a process of coming into a greater state of self-mastery as well and so um this month of september is really like moving us forward in that direction and these lessons of the north node in the sign of aries are going to be very prominent as we move through the month of september you know i was saying if you've been following my channel i was saying as of Mars's entrance into the sign of Libra, actually, where the south node is right now, um, that was really kind of activating this polarity where the north and the south node are existing and the lessons associated with them. And as we move through the course of this month of September and Mars moves into proximity in conjunction with the south node, and we'll talk about that as we get through this report, that will be coming in the fourth week of this month of September, but there is definite indications that we have come to the end, we're leaving something behind we're moving on from something and again I feel like it has a lot to do with you know whatever universe is facilitating our release from in this energy you guys so all of that being said that is where I feel like this month is taking us that is you know the information component the awareness that we are gaining about something that is leading to some type of active change that is leading to some type of ending distancing but simultaneously like a rebirth and a forward movement the future is really pulling us forward in a lot of ways this month as well there's definitely an emphasis on both the past and the future but it's like the future is pulling us forward and what can no longer come with us in that direction past and the future kind of in the balance with this Libra energy coming through this month as well. So that's all that being said. Now let's get into our week by week. Let's talk about this. Let's see in more detail, you know, on a smaller scale how things are coming together for us. And of course, you know, follow um, follow me, you guys. We're going to be talking about this energy as it comes together in real time uh, when I do my daily, weekly podcast shows as well. So we're going to be talking about, this is not the last time I'm going to be talking about this energy. This is our introduction, you guys, to what's to come. So uh, we'll be going over everything again on the daily videos. But this is our assessment of the days ahead. So let's start with the first week of September. Now, this is a very busy week. We've just got very busy weeks generally. I will say the second week of September is our least busy week uh, of all of the three weeks, but it's kind of, you know, I feel like it may not actually turn out that way because although the second week we don't have like a whole bunch of major activations happening, all week is defined by Uranus, which has a tendency of doing the most and really like can throw things up in the air and make things kind of crazy. So 
even though the second week there's not like tons of activations going on there's still that anyway we'll get into the second week when we get to the second week but let's start with the first week you guys and a busy week like i said um we start this week there is definitely a very strong mercury jupiter influence going on the first week there's a very strong venus influence going on the first week as well and we also start the week with mars and saturn both in a quincox aspect to each other in the sky there could be uh sort of the first into the second kind of like an un settled unharmonious energy like agitation angst inner frustration that is sort of like you know maybe like irking us a little bit internally as we begin the month of September but it doesn't really stick around because we really actually do have some good vibes coming through that's another thing like this month of September has some very positive uplifting energy we are getting a bird's eye view of things in some pretty extreme ways, especially the first and the second week of the month of September. Now, moving into the third week, we may uh, have a really hard time believing our eyes. We may feel like we have no idea what's going on. It can be very confusing, really questioning what is real and what is not. But first and second week, we are seeing the truth about some things. We also, starting this first week, we have um, a back-to-back -back planets stationing and changing direction going on in the sky. On the third, we have Venus stationing direct in the sky. So Venus will be done with her retrograde process, ready to start moving forward again in the sign of Leo. But then turn around and on the 4th of September, we have Jupiter who is stationing retrograde in the sky. And this is happening in an exact trine to Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo. Now, this is very interesting. And I will also tell you guys, this Jupiter Mercury energy, this is like big news. This is a huge message. This is, um, seeing the bigger picture in a way that we can like really understand. And this is just like whatever we're hearing or whatever we are talking about or thinking about or the messages coming through having a very big impact in some way. And I will tell you guys, this is the second of three Mercury Jupiter trines that we will have and that we have had over this period of time. We had a Jupiter Mercury trine exactly from Virgo and Taurus recently. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know that when we had that exact aspect, that was actually the day that Oliver Anthony's Richmond North of Richmond song came out was when we had the first pass, the first exact hit of this Mercury Jupiter trine and Earth sign. Now we have that energy present again, but this time on the 4th of September, they're both retrograde. Mercury's retrograde and Jupiter is also literally in the process of stationing retrograde. This tells me that there could be, first of all, Mercury and Jupiter, you know, this could be good news as well. This could be some unexpected, like good news that's going on, but there may be something that comes back up in regards to that, that, uh, that song and everything that happened at that point in time in some way this is probably going to bring some big news some big revelation some insight about the past but then we're going to take it up even to another level this first week okay because not only do we have the aspect that is indicating the most widespread messaging like having this big impact about the past because we got the retrograde but also like bringing some type of higher perspective or some type of bird's eye view or gaining some level of wisdom or truth into something somehow but then we turn around on the sixth and we have mercury retrograde conjunct the sun we have mercury kazemi with the sun while mercury station retrograde and this is also happening in a trine to jupiter because then we turn around on the seventh and the eighth and we have the sun in exact trine to jupiter so all of these energies mercury trine jupiter mercury conjunct the sun sun trine jupiter every single one of these energies is going to bring a heightened perspective clarity insight seeing the whole picture the bird's eye view you know being able to see things from the top down like we're seeing under the hood we're seeing inside the machine we're seeing you know things from the past that need a second look somehow and we are gaining that second look and we are coming to conclusions about it and we are really getting an understanding of it sometimes like I was saying we start this month where we are gaining some level of awareness into something and it is just very 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 indicated 
this first week. Illumination, seeing the bigger picture, understanding the inner workings of things, clarity, insight, and it could also be bringing some disturbing information as well. On the 6th, when we have the Mercury retrograde Sun Kazemi, the moon will be in Gemini, which is also ruled by Mercury in a conjunction to the sun, with both in Virgo ruled by Mercury. This is just information, 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 and the uh, moon in Gemini will be squaring Mercury in the sun and their Kazemi in Virgo. There could be some disturbing information but there is likely to be some thing that we are gaining new contacts about, that we are gaining additional information about. And remember, the con the way the month the way that this month is playing out, the information that we are gaining is gonna change things for us somehow. And that being said, now let's move on and now let's talk about the second week where <laughs> these changes start to take place, okay? We start, we open the second week on the 8th of September with the exact sun Jupiter retrograde trine. To me, this is also about reversals because like Jupiter is also like justice, it's truth, it's honor, it's integrity, it's wisdom. With Jupiter retrograde trying the sun, to me, this is gaining insight, gaining illumination, gaining clarity about like what has been unjust, what has been unrighteous, what has been out of integrity, what has been untruthful, and then figuring out, you know, <laughs> what we're going to do with it from there essentially. But we have a huge Uranian influence. Influence, a huge Jupiterian influence simultaneously coming in the second week. That is because, you guys, we currently have Jupiter and Uranus building into conjunction with each other in the sign of Taurus. So whenever we have planets heading towards these mid-degree Earth signs, this is forming, or, or mid-degree fixed signs as well, this is forming squares or this is forming trines to Jupiter and Uranus. So they're both getting, you know, we're, we're getting the effects, we're getting hit by both of them. And um, this is also, I will also say you guys probably starting this month, I mean, Jupiter and Uranus are both retrograde right now, but we are just looking at some major economic, financial, resource-based, sudden, unexpected changes that are going to hit us out of nowhere coming up here soon that are going to have a very big impact that are probably not going to be super comfortable, but will have the ultimate impact of fixing things and putting things right somehow in a way that it actually creates our like creates an ability for us to generate more wealth for ourselves, to generate more abundance for ourselves, to build things more productively, to create and generate more value. So we're headed for some type of major economic financial, like perhaps like upheaval or just <laughs> shift or change or something along those lines, which is pending. And I do honestly feel like the way that this month of September is coming in with both these planets retrograding in Taurus right now and us being in this Virgo Earth sign energy, the Earth sign planets hitting the Earth sign Jupiter and Uranus. I mean, and Jupiter, this is the planet of expansion. Uranus is the planet of like shocking sudden change that happens to make the changes for us that we haven't been able to make for ourselves to ultimately put things right in a way where they will grow in accordance with the universal blueprint and the universal plan and like true authenticity and all of those wonderful things. And so Jupiter is going to be massively expanding the work, the role of Uranus as we head through this 2024 year. And I, like I said, I feel like it's kicking up now. And again, we're heading into the age of Aquarius, you guys, you know, one of the major focuses on this channel is not only how these aspects and how this energy is impacting us and hitting on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, and how it's affecting our lives in the short term, but also the more subtle changes that these energies coming through are making to our energy bodies on on the more internalized levels and how those changes <laughs> that are happening on a frequency based level within us are manifesting externally in terms of our choices, our habits, our behaviors, our thought processes. And as we react to these new frequencies are coming in and as we go through these internalized transformations and changes, we therefore then become anchors of this new energy in this reality and help to build and create and solidify and anchor the age of Aquarius, this new paradigm that is coming in. And again, like this is going to be, it's really, as we move through 2024 and we have the Jupiter Uranus conjunction and Pluto moves into the sign of Aquarius, we are really, really going to be heavy in this um, recalibration of our energy to anchor in these new frequencies. And 
again, like I keep saying this, but if you guys have been following my channel, you know, I've been talking about really ever since we had, I believe it was the new moon in Cancer where we had the Grand Cross set up. It was like, that was the end of the old world. That was the bridge to the new world. And then we had it into our new moon in the sign of Leo, which was an exact square to Uranus. Now Uranus is going to continue to be a major player with literally <laughs> I haven't looked past uh, the Scorpio new moon, but I know Leo, Virgo, and Scorpio new moons this year, like these moons coming up, Uranus is directly involved in the aspects and the transits that are playing out. As I said, we had our new moon in Leo was an exact square to Uranus. That was telling us that this Uranus energy was going to be doing its thing to break us out of, again, like the things and themes I've been talking about this that are coming in this cycle as well. Like essentially anything that was blocking our ability to connect to the truth of our heart and our own personal creative self experience expression and to find our own strength and our own courage and our own creativity and align ourselves with what we truly love and what really makes us feel alive and anything especially you know with the extended Venus transit through the sign of Leo as well and Venus retrograding in Leo and a lot of what was indicated to take place in the new moon and Leo cycle is really going to start being very obvious as we move through the uh, September energy. I will say. And of course, you know, we don't get to the new moon in the sign of Virgo until the 15th of September. So essentially the first half of September, we are closing out our Leo new moon cycle. So lots of this, it makes sense in terms of where this month is going, that it would be reflective of what began with the Leo new moon cycle. Now I will also say, and we will talk about this more, as we move through this report and we get to the, the what is it, the second, the third week of the month of September. But we do have a Virgo new moon that is going to be coming up that will be in nearly an exact trine to Uranus. And then when we have our full moon that happens in the sign of Aries, as we get to the very end of the month, Venus will be in an exact square to Uranus. In terms of the Libra new moon, I have not specifically looked at that one yet, so I'm not sure how involved Uranus is in the Libra new moon, but I will tell you the Scorpio new moon that comes up after that will be in an basically exact opposition to Uranus and Mars will be in a conjunction to the new moon itself in the sign of Scorpio. So. We have lots of Uranian energy pending. All of these cycles that are coming up are very much dominated by this energy that is breaking us out of patterns, breaking us out of um, like mental frames, okay? And breaking us out of paradigms of our own reality where we were not viewing ourselves clearly, especially in regards to our own value, worth, personal power, to be like a creative and generative force for change and positive force for creation also moving forward because we have this new era, we're in this new leadership era, we need to essentially like take back the reins of our own like trajectory forward and start working to heed the call of our soul, which like I said, is going to be more and more like undeniable as we move through this energy as well. So the second week is really all about this Jupiter Uranus energy. We start on the eighth with the sun and exact trying to Jupiter as we move through the end of the week and we get to the 14th that is when our new moon in Virgo occurs the 14th through the 15th actually again it's one of these new moons that is coming exact like sort of um late in the day where I am in the east coast but according to universal time it's happening on the next day so it's sort of the 14th into the 15th again this is happening this new moon will be in an exact trine to Uranus, now retrograde, we will also have Venus in a square to Jupiter, and we will also have, it will also be in an opposition to Neptune as well, which is going to be very characteristic of the third week that comes in. Now, this new moon that is closing out the second week and simultaneously opening the third week because it's the 14th into the 15th, right? Um, there's going to be some wild information, some very, very wild information that changes everything. This is where, like, 
the energy that is whatever we're finding out it, that is like motivating change really starts to take place. There could be some things that are just sort of like hitting us out of the blue. This is the expect the unexpected energy. This is shocks and surprises. This can be sort of, but because of the trine energy, this is being facilitated by universe. It's likely to be a bit less, honestly, like chaotic and uncomfortable and disruptive maybe than the square energy that we had throughout the Leo cycle. Okay, this is a trine. For the Leo cycle, we had the new moon in exact square to Uranus. That is a more like kind of like a accident prone, disaster oriented, like much less comfortable expression of the Uranian energy. With it being the trine, this is more so going to be like things falling into place in ways that we didn't expect or couldn't have anticipated, but also in ways that make a lot of sense, create and provide solutions and move things forward. However, that does not diminish the amount of like shock factor that is likely to be involved in them. And I'm telling you guys, moving into the third week, we are likely to be sitting there sort of like dumbfounded, just like totally questioning our reality. The second week is going to be lit. Okay. Probably going to be very busy, very high speed, probably like, um, a lot of like nervous tension, anxious energy, maybe like feeling like something is about to happen, kind of maybe like all over the place. Communication could be like kind of a bit haywire in this energy as well. Um, financial news, there could be, definitely be a lot of financial themes that are very, very wrapped up in it, but it's also the opposition to Neptune. Neptune. This is whatever shock or like shock to the system or, you know, sudden awakening that it's coming through it's simultaneously having an impact of like cracking through some illusion that we had been you know perceiving this is breaking down mind control this is um this is that paradigm cracking information you know cognitive dissonance people could be having a lot of trouble especially moving to the third week and we're about to be begin talking about it with like literally processing the state of reality truth versus you know fantasy there's a lot of information about like coming to find that everything that we had thought to be true was a lie and everything that we had thought was fantasy having like these elements of truth that could really just be messing with us and keeping us kind of in a state of confusion or um Lowering energy levels as well, something we could be dealing with, just feeling kind of caught in a fantasy, a daydream, like needing to step back a little bit to just process information moving into this third week. So I guess let's move into the third week. The new moon, like I said, opening our week, the 14th into the 15th. And then on the 15th, we have the exact sun Uranus trine. Also on that day, you guys, just to... Bring up the uh, uh, potential for crazy information, even more Mercury stations direct. So we have the new moon that occurs the 14th into the 15th. The 15th in the you know presence of this new moon energy, we have the exact Uranus sun and Uranus sun moon actually trine going on simultaneously while Mercury in the sign of Virgo stations direct. Something is coming clear, you guys, like Come correct, okay? Come corrected. This is the energy. Massive reversals could be taking place. And again, we may find ourselves feeling just like quite dumbfounded as this energy, as we move through this energy. Now, another reason that I'm saying this, you know, aside from Mercury stationing direct and, you know, the, the, the facilitation of whatever needs to happen to change things in such a way that moves things in the right direction. I'm telling you guys, this is also happening in earth signs. Okay. This is an earth sign try. And I say all the time when things are happening in earth signs, things are happening on the ground. When things are happening in air signs, this is ideas. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're thinking about. This is a great idea or conversation that we're having when it's happening in fire signs. This is what we're uh, putting our energy into. This is the creative force. This is our energy body. This is our passion. When we're talking about water signs, this is our feelings, this is our emotions, this is the emotional energy associated with whatever is going on. But when we are talking about earth signs, things are happening on the ground. So whatever is transpiring is likely to be physically playing out. And that is probably going to bring up, you know, the shock factor, the surprise factor, the general weird and strangeness factor even more. But 
after this third week, you know, the sun moves out of trine with Uranus, the sun then basically moves into exact opposition, okay, to Neptune. Now, the number one thing that this is going to do, this is going to drop energy levels. If you guys remember when I talked about my August overview, I was talking about how we were going to go through all this intense Uranian energy, but then we were going to come up against these Neptune oppositions, the Mars-Neptune opposition, and that was going to lower energy levels. Well, the same thing is going to happen in this month of September. We're like riding so high, like we're all wired, like we're all in this like electric field of whatever is playing out but then bam you know we hit the neptunian energy field and it just like sucks the energy out it really dissolves that kind of like maybe a little bit neurotic uh <laughs> electric feeling that we might be dealing with and if you've been having a hard time sleeping okay the first two weeks of the month of september specifically the third week or the second week of the month of september and moving into the third week by the time that we get through the third week you should be feeling much more calm much more able to relax rest meditate and get some good sleep so that is kind of like i guess like a benefit of the neptunian energy but the other side of this energy is Neptune opposite the sun, you guys, like, this has us in a fog. This is like a generalized state of confusion or illusion or delusion. <laughs> and because we've just gone through this Uranus trine, it's like probably about whatever it is that just literally blew our mind. Like, we are whatever epiphany, whatever flash or sudden insight that we're coming to whatever change was provoked in the energy we need a period to process what just happened and what comes next we don't necessarily know what's real right now reality as i said could be stranger than fantasy we could be really questioning everything we've ever thought or believed based on whatever event transpired or whatever information we gained access to um deeply and profoundly transformative though whatever this processing period is leading to to and also you know the impact of whatever happens or whatever had just happened and we know this because as soon as the opposition to neptune completes we then immediately have the sun in exact trine to pluto this is highly transformative this is seeing under the rock this is seeing behind the curtain this is delving in this is shining a light into like the underworld okay um Pluto's also retrograde. There's no more hiding from the truth. Like this month of September, there's no more hiding from the truth. Um, the light is shining into all the crevices. There's this collectivized awareness going on. This, people talk about the Great Awakening. People have been talking about the Great Awakening. It's been sort of like, you know, a buzzword in the astrological community for this past couple of years. But this is, I'm telling you guys, like this is it. All of this Uranus energy coming through. It's like, every week, every month, every lunar cycle, and then with the pending Jupiter, uh, Uranus conjunction, and Pluto about to enter Aquarius, it's just like, we are really, really in the thick of things right now. Like, this is the Great Awakening, and it is, there is no way to call at this point in time what is going to transpire that is going to cause these massive transformations but it's gonna be very systemic it's gonna have to do with the power and the control systems of the past the crumbling of this 3d matrix as this new way of like viewing and dealing with reality emerges based on north node now in the sign of aries a reconnection to our personal power and being our own hero saving ourselves from our own states of victimhood and moving forward with this newly inspired view of ourselves to conquer whatever battle or execute on whatever mission we are again like feeling compelled towards right now as this energy plays out um very revolutionary energies that are coming through as well uranus is the rebel uranus is the revolutionary but it's because there is a force that is necessary when things have gotten too broken or when things have gotten too out of alignment with the authentic truth of development and evolution and organic progress of that your universe is calling us towards right now is um mandating as a result of where we are currently in our cosmic blueprint 
So as we move through this third week, you guys, things could seem all over the place. This is pro probably really weird, really strange, really wild. Nobody knows what's going on. Super confusing. Like, it, what is real? What is not? You know, oh, and what happens now based on, you know, what I'm figuring out? Um, but major transformations very much underway. Now moving into the fourth week. The fourth week is a week about redefining ourselves, right? Moving on from the past, moving on from old versions of ourselves that are following way, taking action to do something new, to do something different. But what is it all based on, you guys? It's all based on the catalyst of the awareness or the insight or the revelation or the event that transpires that causes these big changes, has us questioning everything, but ultimately serves the purpose of ending one thing, moving us towards something different, lighting up the way forward. This fourth week is another really big one. This fourth week, we are moving towards the third pass of both Venus square Uranus, which is an aspect that will have happened three times because of the Venus retrograde. And also we are heading towards our third Mercury trine Jupiter pass. Remember, we started this month with the second Mercury trend Jupiter pass and we are ending this month with the third Mercury trend Jupiter pass and again remember this is the energy that birthed Oliver Anthony in that song this past this this past lunar cycle in the month of August so, you know, big things could be coming with that. Again, these big, impactful messages that create this field of unity, open people's eyes and have the outcome of some type of unexpected but like very significant transformation. So we've got both Mercury, Jupiter, again, this fourth week and Venus, Uranus, again, this fourth week, which will come into exact aspect for our full moon in the sign of Aries. Like I said, since our new moon in Leo, the new moons and the full moons have had a lot to do with Uranus and this is going to continue. But we've also got the fourth week of this month of September, Mars moving into conjunction with the South Node. This is activating the North and South Node. This is activating the energy that is urging us to separate ourselves from past connections that are in any way stifling or suffocating our personal growth and our ability to move forward. So taking action to do things new, to do things different, and coming to the end of ways of behavior or ways of relating that are suffocating our personal truth, our personal growth, or our personal mission in any type of a way. And then we've, of course, got this full moon that we have coming up, the full moon in Aries on the 29th. And um, like I said, Venus will be in a square to Uranus relation I'm telling you guys like and this is it like relationships from the past that are not serving us anymore are likely to come to an end we are done with the past we are done with who we've been until now and this news this information these new mental states whatever we're uh whoever we're discovering or discovering ourselves to be now and what we're finding to be important to us now like this is what we're motivated to pursue and you know this is what we're following going forward this is a period that is is very much implementing change this fourth week of the month of September September and there again is likely to be a major relationship component or also perhaps a financial component we are like un enmeshing ourselves from relationship commitments or from like friend groups communities social circles or even our own self-perception um, that has tied us to an image of ourselves that we're realizing is fake. Okay. This is like the end of fake friends. Like that's, I guess the most basic and mundane way that I can say it. Uh, anything that is superficial, um, anything that is like gossip based, anything that is based on, you know, images, essentially like being friends with people to maintain a certain image however like not having a deeper connection or you know those relationships not being supportive of who we really are or any relationships that cause us to hide who we really are in order to maintain the relationships that is those are definitely under fire with this full moon that we have coming up so you know major changes in relationships are taking place this fourth week again there could be very financial oriented things as going on as a part of this as well 
but that's just where we're at. That's where all of this is leading. So again, this is a month that is going to end with us deciding to make some major changes in the context of who we're going to be and who we're going to be associated with. However, it's starting with some very maybe like bizarre or unexpected, unusual, strange information about the past, blowing our mind in some type of a way, causing some type of huge changes to take place that really transform us, bring us honestly with Venus stationing direct in Leo as well, like it's like we've re-solidified our relationship to ourselves and we're just not having it anymore. Again, anything that is any relationship that is out of alignment with authenticity, anywhere we have to be fake to fit in, anywhere we've been settling for, you know, something shallow or superficial in order to maintain an image or a facade, this is the end of all of that because we have a personal mission, you know, we're being called forth by universe to do, be, accomplish, complete, become something right now. It's time for us to be our own hero, like a hero in our own story. Remember, we also have Chiron transiting the sign of Aries right now. That's going to be another major energy that we are dealing with moving through 2024 is overcoming states of victimhood through gaining a greater state of self-mastery, overcoming weaknesses, gaining confidence, strength, courage. And a lot of this is going to come through what we're dealing with as we move through this month, the epiphanies, the revelations to in terms of who we really are, what we really value, what we really prioritize, what we're truly capable of, where we've been working against ourselves um, and just deciding we're not going to do that anymore and making major changes. This is going to be hitting on an individual microcosm level, also on a world stage macrocosm level. Uh, we're not going to be able to look away, you guys. There's going to be lots of news, news narratives. Oh, God, like there's going to be a lot of it and things are about to get really crazy. Um, you know, I know I've been saying this, but we the Uranus energy is not going anywhere and things are really, like I've been saying, about to start reflecting on the ground what a lot of astrologers and people who read energy have been seeing and feeling coming for a while. So we're here, you guys. Welcome to the Great Awakening. Um, it'll be very interesting to see where we are at the end of this month. So that's basically what I'm going to say, you guys. Um, the way that things seem to be coming together for the month of September. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think they would be interested in this too, and come back with me, you guys, on the day-to-day -day basis. You know, as this energy is playing out, we're going to have a lot more to talk about, and we are going to be relating all of it to our energetic transition to the age of Aquarius because that really is the big news right now. We're really going to start to see this shift of age is taking place in our physical 3d reality as we move through this month and we head towards 2024 so come back with me you guys also you know leave me comments if you guys are having experiences or if you find yourself having experiences that match up with what i'm talking about as this energy unfolds definitely let me know in my comment section if you want to know what's on this whiteboard i post a picture of that in my facebook group which is linked in my description box along with my instagram and my facebook page as well so um come back with me also you guys next video we are going to be getting into the month of september we got a lot to talk about we are starting off like i said our next video is going to be talking about venus stationing direct and then right on the heels of that we have jupiter stationing retrograde so get ready we have this big first week of september coming up big news i'll be here for it you should be here for it too you don't want to miss it i'll see you then guys until next time bye